In this week's JavaScript debugging tip video, we're taking a look at a method called debug. And what this method's going to allow us to do is to find and locate the code for a particular function, even if we don't know what file that function's inside. So instead of going through all of our files and control Fing to find that function, we just have to use the debug method and it will jump us straight there. So we're looking at the debug function, which allows you to locate where a function is inside your code base. So here I've set up a document that just has five JavaScript files and uh, we can look inside each of these files and we've just got 10 functions. All the functions do is just alert out the number corresponding to that particular function. So we have functions one to nine here and uh, 10 to 19 and we go up to the fifth script file and we've got 40 to 49. So we have five different files with 49 different functions in it. And we can take a look in the browser and refresh the page and we can see nothing happens because we're not actually triggering any of these functions. And uh, we could just manually trigger say function 23 and we'll get an alert out that just says 23. But now we say we want to locate that function 23 in our code base. So what we could do is come to the sources tab and open up a script file control F function 23 not in that file script file 2 function 23 not in there script file 3 function 23 oh there we go we found it but that takes a lot of time and it's just it's just inefficient and inconvenient to do so we have an option and that option is the debug method so what we can do is say debug and then pass it an argument and that argument is just the name of the function that we want to find so debug function 23 hit return and nothing happens it would seem but what it's doing now is monitoring the code that's running and anytime function 23 is invoked it will pause the execution of the code and take you straight to that function so we could just use the application and wait for that function to trigger or we can trigger it manually inside the console which is what I'll do now so we can say function 23 invoke it and pause in debugger and we're taken straight to function 23 inside the code so we didn't have to control F throughout the whole application and the the execution is stopped so we can uh, actually come in here and we can add more code into this function before it runs so if we want to now put in a console trace which I've done a, another video on you can go check that out I'll put a link somewhere on the screen now and uh, we could put a console trace in there and do that or we could write more code or whatever we need to do to help our debug workflow we can put that straight in there and then continue the script execution and now we get our alert box with 23 and uh, we can do that with whatever functions we want so we can say debug function 32 and again we'll just invoke that manually and we're paused taken straight to that so we've still got this script 3.js open at function 23 but it's open script 4 right at function 32 so this is just a really really useful method for debugging javascript and hopefully you can see tons of uses for it in in your own workflows and uh yeah so i'll see you in the next video on uh javascript debugging tips now that you're saving so much time not having to look through all of your script files you've got a lot more time to watch youtube videos just like this one so give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more regular content just like this as well as other content about different programming languages and frameworks. And if you happen to be the kind of person who likes to read some of their tips and tutorials, then I do a full write-up about every video that I put onto YouTube. So click on the bottom left of the screen now to head over to the write-up about the debug method. But until the next video that I do, stay hungry and keep coding.